Hey everybody, another day of shenanigans on the main server. Something else that I've been doing a lot in the last little while is draining lava. Please, if you are on this server, there's a reason why only certain ranks can place lava. Do not grief with it. Here is our major problem. I probably shouldn't be saying this just because you might use it to your advantage, but hopefully by the time I put up the video, they'll have fixed it. Basically, water and lava can be placed inside of protection fields for some reason. Also, as you can tell from my bedrock, lava currently, well, once the server stops lagging and gives me results, yeah, it doesn't tell me who placed it. So, basically, everyone who is griefing with lava is not only able to place it anywhere, but is also getting away with it. So, number one problem is... <laughs> I can't really tell if maybe Mini Ribs is the one that did this, but he played... No, no, this was just somebody that came by and dropped lava on top of the structures. I've got to be careful with the drain command, because what drain likes to do is everything in a certain radius disappears. Is that so good? Well, not when you're, like, near an ocean, because that has been, uh, basically... A large problem. I know, Sheriff. There's a lot of lava here. There's a lot of lava everywhere. I've been cleaning up massive towns that were just covered in it. And basically, the only ranks that can place lava are certain donation ones. So basically, well, those and our, you know, honorary thank you ranks. So basically, we had hoped that if you've donated, you'd be smart enough not to, like, do this. But awful. And Odium is telling me now that Platinum users can place cobblestone monster eggs. Why is this a problem? Well, I haven't exactly seen it yet, but if Odium's telling me, then that means that uh, most likely it's becoming a problem. If I have to deal with them, I will most certainly record it for a video, but at the moment, here's me in a laggy server trying to clean out lava. Of all things, Thankfully, only certain ranks can place it, or we'd have much more of a problem. This just means that there are a lot of jerky donators out there. But remember that if hopefully, once the log's fixed and we can tell who places lava, that whether or not you have donated to the server, you can still get banned for griefing. I know that there was a bit of um, confusion, too, with that last video of mine, Destroying Glowstone. Mainly the problem was, not only was it a massive area and there was nothing there, but they did that to the gate area. If you're going to build a town, don't build it outside the gate, please. we got to leave some opportunity for new players. If you've been here a long time, you know this. Or, I know that you'd want to warp, but I don't think we're giving warps out right away. It's only been two days into 1.3. So, obviously, we want to give some time for everybody to build the best things that they can. Um, message ransom. It seemed fine. Try now. I, uh, checked the other servers. HC seems to have updated all of them, and I'm very happy that our PvP server, um, is, is great. Like, no, 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 no. I mean that the PvP arena that I built is in, in action. Uh, so far, everyone's told me they love it. As for suggestions, somebody said a viewing area. Someone else said the PvP area needs to be redefined. I can't do that personally, but it be something to look into. Anyway, this lag is really bad right now. I don't think it's just me who's having it either. And here's another thing people are tending to do on the main server. Um, while it's nice building a farm, it's certainly not nice having people murder all your animals. So if this has happened to you, uh, just let a staff member know and we'll probably spawn some animals for you again. Uh, please don't lie, etc. <laughs> but I, I will say that it's within reason. Like, if you say you had 50 cows, we're probably just going to spawn you two just in case. Because otherwise that's ridiculous. But there's been a lot of cases of people just simply going around murdering animals, which is, of course, always a problem on multiplayer servers where animals don't uh, respawn in chunks kind of thing. So I certainly don't have a problem with respawning animals, but uh, if you do have a farm out there, I would suggest you be extra careful. Um, what I did on single player was I kept my farm under the ground, <laughs> for example. Uh, especially when there are people who might even be able to go through walls, perhaps. 
So, anything really to just take that extra effort and make sure that your farm is safe. Especially when, uh, you know, there might just be a couple of random zombie pigs. <laughs> Okay, everyone, another bit of an issue which uh, Mr. Jacob Ramsey uh, told me about, and Mr. Giselle Bido has just confirmed for me. Uh, apparently, if you're a trusted user, and you spawn bedrock, and you click on items, you'll actually get to see all the log block data as if you were a moderator. Now, you won't have rollback commands, but you can actually tell uh, who's griefed houses and stuff. I don't know if this is a permission error, uh, or anything. I, I don't know if this is permanent or intentional at all, but uh, apparently, yeah. Trusted users can check who did damage to things. So, okay, even if uh, citizens have bedrock, they can't check it. Trusted users can. I don't know if any other ranks can just yet, but uh, apparently that's one very weird issue that's happening right now. <laughs> Not really a, a bad one, per se. I mean, it could be useful. If you got griefed, I guess you can ask a trusted person to check it out. But, uh, hmm, certainly something weird going on. Oh, by the way, something I unfortunately had to fix earlier and uh, was a bit too busy to capture. Platinum users can spawn uh, things in their creative inventories, uh, then get them back into their adventure uh, inventories. Why is this bad? Well, lag right now is being caused by the unstable bucket build, but it's also been kind of caused because uh, platinum users are using mob spawn eggs to spam mobs everywhere, which of course will lag a server out. Why people would pay money to mess up their server? I don't know, man. It's not impressive. But I also saw them using uh, those special blocks where if you break them, silverfish come out to cover villages. It's, I don't know if it particularly actually griefs them, but it's really annoying. So if you're a Platinum user out there, please don't do that until we fix it. I mean, come on, why ruin the game for everybody else? <laughs> uh, thanks again, everybody. As you can see, everyone, there's sort of a unique problem where some people have their skin, but most people are apparently Steve now. Why is it that um, everybody's skin is now back to the default? Well, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with Minecraft.net being uh, a bit glitchy. I mean, I went into single player mode and I'm Steve there too, so it's not really anything that's happening, but it's certainly a very weird issue. Well, everybody, this is why lava griefing without being able to see who placed lava is a major problem on this server. By the way, everyone's getting scammed, so uh, how am I supposed to help? Anyway, train 20. And it's instantly gone. So that's really good, I would have to say. However, I think it's still horrible that I've got to deal with this, and a lot of it. <laughs> What's going on up above? Um, Got scanned for 15 mil and you freaking mods and trusteds aren't doing anything about it. Fine, I'll go talk to him. Yo, fat baker. Uh, how did you get scammed? I'm gonna tell you. We just freaking reset the economy. So if people are still spending 15 million for a sword, I think it's your own fault. Honestly. Think about it like this. If people says, hey, I'm gonna give you this bow... For 15 million, you pay him and he logs out? Well, I mean, how am I supposed to run in and fix it? It, it? It's scamming right now on the main server is a main problem. But it's not really a problem with me. It's just that nobody's careful. And people are getting away with it all the time. So what uh, happened? Can you please explain to me, Mr. Fat Bakerman, what happened? This is one reason why I don't like doing stuff here. People take ages to respond. It might be the server lag. It might be him typing. I don't know. But hopefully we'll figure out what's going on. Buying Godsword when I paid, he gave me a Bane one. Yep. We did it. I, I understand, buddy. You don't need to... 
Give me the vein sword. Now the problem is there's no proof. There's there's no proof at all. MC of blue Cree. What have you got on you? Just diamond sword, lots of stuff. Keep you here. Blue Cree. Watch. Oh he's wait a minute. He's not online yet, is he? Ah, great. Well you logged out. Do you have any proof? I mean, honestly, he could just say, hey, you know what? I want a god sword out of nowhere. So, I mean, how am I supposed to help him as, as a staff member when you really think about it? I mean, I want to believe you. I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. But you could technically be doing this to get the other guy in trouble or just get a sword. So... Honestly, I, I, I can't really help him. I mean, yes. And thankfully, I finally figured out who it was in Mob Disguise placing lava, and it is Crazy Ice. Uh, 12. So, what should I do to him? Pip and Crazy Ice 12 for how about 8 days? Because griefing with lava? Not cool. Green, 10. Okay, it was Crazy Ice 12, gave him 8 days. Did that even go through? There it is. I gave him 8 days to start with. Um, if you receive Crazy Ice 12, he had nothing on him, obviously, so... Crazy Ice 12. He's a paid platinum user. Son of a gun. I told you, people paying money for the server and doing that. I don't know. Now then. Okay, dude, what did I just say about water in the frickin' shop? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, the problem is, water in the shop, I'll show you right now. If the lag would let me, but uh, basically what I want to show you guys right now is that, oh look, someone has placed water in the shop. Well, guess what? There's no logs, or there won't be any logs once it loads. Come on. Come on, load, server. Uh, I water bucket one. It's a bit of a pain, and I certainly have to um, watch out here. See, nothing. Oh, wait, I don't want that. I bucket one. Is that gone yet? Come on. Come on, go away, water. Fine, then. Drain to... Oh, it's gone. Okay. As for magic, man, using hacked armor is as bad as having it. Just make sure it doesn't happen ever again. I take my second chances seriously, so... If he's saying... I'm gonna see what he says to me, actually. And then I'll decide, but, um... Wolfie made a party house, and someone put glowstone on it. Okay, so I'll teleport over to Wolfie. In the meantime... This is kind of nice, though. Even though um, everybody's skin is Steve, you can tell other people's armor is enchanted by how shiny it is. So that's awesome. I really like that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Message Gecko. You are King Mr. Crab. I know. Just wait a day. <sighs> I already found him griefing a roof earlier, and he's come on with his alt account trying to pretend to be a friend. You know, I already know this. P.S. Info. Message magic. Can you not do it anymore? Because using those hacked armor is as bad as being a hacker. I don't know why people think if they get god swords 
in the PvP when those were illegal, that uh, that it wasn't that was any better than making them yourselves. Anyway, I gotta find his glowstone. Where is? Oh wait a minute! I know what I can do. PS info will tell me TP pose to minus one one two three sixty two minus three three eight zero. I only realized this. Oops. Uh, when we were doing that episode about drawing mode issues, what happened there? TP position. Oh, there's a space there. There we go. Okay, so it is right here. Where is it then? Oh, it's all under there. Okay. Collins one did this. Is it Colin one's is his thing? Top. Oh, right, this is Wolfie's uh, place. Okay, this is exactly what he wants me to do then. I can I can tell because Wolfie, yeah. I bedrock. See, watch. Uh, oh, wait. Wolfie created it. Colin's destroyed it and made it. Oh, uh. Colin's protected this. So. Collins helped you build this, Wolfie, and he protected it. But, okay. They built it together, so I guess Collins just didn't let him on. So if that's the case, I guess I do have to break it. It's really iffy if you build stuff with a friend and one of them protects it for you and then doesn't allow you, because then who do I believe built the house, right? Hopefully he'll be nice and allow Collins into his protection, too. You know, as you can see... Even though people complain about me not being able to message them all the time, if I responded to all the messages, I'd be a supercomputer. There's so many people messaging me all the time, I can't even figure it out. Okay, so, back on track. Magic Man. You want me to something, something... You know what, I'll give you another chance. Let's go back to PvP Hardcores. Okay, and unban magic man twelve. Done. Oh god! Oh my goodness! Did that work or not? Unban player. Okay, good. Apparently, we've got this um no cheat plugin going on on PvP server right now. I hate this. Wow. Wow. Okay, so. What is this telling me? This is telling me... Failed. No fault. Oh my gosh. So, McNoobster... Vanish. No, I don't... I don't even understand this. I'll worry about PvP server later. This is starting to... Make me very confused. And when Flip is confused... Flip doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so... Message magic. Unbanned, but don't do that again. Hopefully that kind of a thing won't happen again, you know, with the duplication glitches and etc. But again, I take second chances seriously. Man, this got a bit derailed. I was talking about, like, issues that are going on here in 1.3. Number one, everyone's sh shouting about the lag. Number two, everyone's Steve and complaining about it. Number three, you know, permission issues. I think that's pretty solid so far, maybe, for, uh, so far, I think. What do I do if I got some armor and node mids are on? Burn it, I guess. But since it's 1.3, as far as I'm aware, there's no more god uh, armor, etc. issues. Oh my gosh. Tempan orcs, 18. Five days. Do not spam IPs, and local access networks, I thought you could only get those if your computer is near to other ones. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter if you're advertising, the, the rules are pretty clear. Staff do what the rules do, not, and well, well, good judgment makes people the best staff members, I'd say. But at the same time, if they told me ban people five days for advertising other servers, yeah, that's what I do. Alright, oh my gosh, so if you're wondering... Yeah, there's pretty much 
65 mod requests all the time. Half of them are prefix change requests. A third of them are house requests. The other ones are all grief, pretty much. It's right annoying, but that's life on HC, if you're wondering. Maybe in my next episode I'll check out how things are going on Hardcore's HC Craft, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not as fun as you'd think being a staff member, but, uh, thanks for watching anyway. Hope you found it was entertaining. See you next time!